Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah and today I have something different for my uh, channel. I'm going to be doing some Halloween decorating. Halloween is my favorite holiday. And I have a beautiful fireplace mantle that I have never had before that I'm going to decorate. Um, I don't know if I have everything that I need for the mantle. I have like a vision in my mind, but today I'm just going to bring out all of my Halloween stuff, kind of see where it might go. Um, and I might need to actually go buy some things or just, I don't know, who knows, we'll see. But anyway, um, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, but just keep on watching for some Halloween spooky content. So this is what the fireplace mantle um, and fireplace looks like right now. It's um, empty. We don't have a TV um, above, but we do have those like exposed cords. Um, usually we have a couple of things up top, but um, yeah, I already cleaned off the tops. So that way I can just start putting up my Halloween stuff. For the mantle so far i'm going to take this um this broom um company sign and hang it up to try and cover those cords but i definitely need some um height it's very short and so i definitely want to get some um pedestals for these like cool um skeleton candle holders i want to get like a pedestal so it could be up higher with like a actual candle in it because right now i don't have a um a candle for that but i definitely want to put some height in here and i also need to fill the space um with more like witchy things i have a um i have a lot of like tarot card um palm reader type decor but i feel like for the mantle this year i just want to go with like a pumpkin orange black witchy vibe um and i feel like the palm reader will not fit in but i definitely need some things to be tall because it's all just very like monotone so for another day see you see you in a second so it's a new day and I wanted to show you a couple things that I did. I rearranged some of the objects that I had already um, shown you. So I put these two pumpkins to try and kind of hide the cords. Um, I might buy something tall to hide the cords better, but um, these cords can't be tucked back up inside this little cubby because there's already more wires tucked up inside. So I'm just gonna have to live with these wires unless I find something tall to put it on. Um, as you can see, I added this um, tassel lanyard and I actually made it with yarn. I just researched like how to make tassels. So I made a bunch of tassels and then put it on the yarn and hung it up. And I think it matches the colors of the Old Salem, Old Salem Broom Company sign that I also hung up. And so as you can see, my vibe is like a witchy black and orange vibe. And so I ended up going to at home to purchase a couple more products so I'm gonna haul those items and then put them up on the mantle. The first thing I bought are these three pillar candles um, and they if you put batteries in it'll light up. Um, I don't I don't know if I have batteries I'll have to look but this was $14.99. The next thing I purchased were some black candles and these were $2.99 for four of them and I have the little skeleton hands with um, candle holders, and so I wanted some black candles to go in these. So the next thing I bought are these red 
candle holders and this is $4.99 and I bought two of them. So this idea may or may not work, I'm not sure, but I wanted more height on the mantle. So we were looking at pedestals and a lot of the pedestals were just really expensive and so we decided to get these candle holders because it was kind of a dark witchy vibe and then I was gonna put them upside down and then put something on top so it gives it more height and then for the rest of the year we can actually just use them as normal candle holders um, and then have candles inside um, and then up on our fireplace year round because I also have a, uh, a vase that also looks just like this, so it'll match with that base really well. So that was everything I bought at, at home, and I'm going to put it up on my mantle, see how it looks, and then there's still um, some Target decor that I've been keeping my eye on. They haven't um, had it for sale yet. They had pre-order, and I thought about pre-ordering, but I was like, no, let me like, keep working on my mantle before I kind of buy more things. And there's also Michael's, which I haven't been to yet. So there's maybe some more purchases, but let me just put this stuff up now and then we'll see where we're at. So as you can see, all I do when I decorate is take steps back, look at the overall situation, add in different heights, different textures, stick to a color palette, and basically it's just trial and error of putting things up, taking them down, moving things around. Um, I think I went through probably like four different phases with my mantle, and what I ended up with is something that I absolutely love. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. I have my cauldron which i got at michael's i got um these bottle sign that's from target um there's the little pedestal from at home i got the um, skeleton candle holders and the candles from at home target target at home and this is how i tried to conceal the cord i put those tall pillar candles um and the pumpkin and then I have um, that pumpkin's from Michael's, that witch's brew is from Target, Michael's Michael's, the rat was a gift, the skeleton ring holder was um, from Michael's, that pumpkin was from Joanne's, Target, again at home, and then that was from Michael's. And so I like where we're at, um, but I do, again, I added height with the pillar candles and with the, um, the skeleton hands, but I still want a little bit more height, especially right in between this. I think something tall right there would be perfect. Um, maybe a spooky tree or a witch's broom to go with the whole witch vibe, um, but we are almost done with the mantle. So we ended up going to Home Goods, and it's it's the same day, um, but I needed a pasta strainer. And while we were there, we looked at the Halloween stuff, and they didn't have like anything really. I've seen on Instagram that some Home Goods have been putting out Halloween stuff, but ours only had a couple of spooky witches, which uh, I will haul for you. So here she is. She's beautiful. Um, I wish they had a different color. I, I wish she had um, an orange dress, but I still love her. So she has a green sequin and black velvet dress, um, a little wood broom on the little bottle. It says Eye of Newt, and then she has a spider, and then her necklaces has a skull and a spider necklace, and then she has a spider. A green spider on top of her hat. Oh, she's beautiful. She is glorious. And so I was worried that um, with her green dress, it wouldn't tie into the rest of the fireplace. Um, but I did have this green pumpkin that I wasn't going to add to the mantle, but because her dress is green, I decided to add the green pumpkin. There's some green in the spell books and there's some green over here in the uh, sign. So 
I think I think it works out having the having the green. But I also added this orange um, vase with fake flowers, and I actually got that vase at a thrift store, and I've had that in my by my kitchen sink, and I decided to add it to the mantle to add more height but i am very happy with how it turned out and if you stick around to at the end of the video i'm going to give a nighttime tour of all of the halloween decor but let me set up the rest of but here is the uh tote with the rest of the halloween stuff that i need to put up so um let me go decorate some other spaces it's day three um i was pretty much done with the mantle the last time i spoke to you guys but at night i like turned on the light stuff that i had and i felt like it was not enough and it was very uneven because there's um there's like a fake candle right here and then like another like light up thing, but it was all on this side. There was like no light on this side. So I went to at home again and I picked up one of these black pillar candles. It has a skull on it. It has actual like real wax on the outside because we're having a heat wave and it melted a little in my car. Um, so I had to put it in the fridge, <laughs> but it's, Pretty much fine now it's still getting like black waxy residue on my fingertips but it's warm so be warned if you do live in a hot climate that this is a little melty because it's real candle wax um and also the skulls not really my vibe for the mantle but i'm just gonna have it sitting there backwards like this where you can't see the skull and this was 8.99 and then i'm sure you could see the glory that is this tree <laughs> So I went to Home Goods, a different Home Goods than where I got my witch, but there was only two of these that were black and two that were orange, and we picked up one of the black ones, but it's this spooky, glittery black tree with like little bat ornaments on it, and we typically don't buy things that are covered in glitter like um you know how target has those like five dollar glitter trees when you touch it if you look at your hand it's like covered in glitter and this one is different it doesn't get any glitter on your fingers when you touch it um but this was 39.99 and 100 worth it i mean it's pretty tall it goes up as tall as the fireplace mantle and it's just glorious and it also bam it lights up but this uh spooky bat tree again was $39.99 worth every penny and we have been discussing like having a different christmas tree like we have we've always lived in a smaller place so we have like a little mini like one foot christmas tree that we got at michael's that we just put on our table every christmas um but we were like maybe this can be our christmas tree because it's more of our aesthetic and it's something that i definitely want to keep up year round i'm hoping my cat does not destroy it um but yeah very excited about this so check out your home goods and then we also picked up we picked up some fairy lights we already had a strand of orange fairy lights and I had um, put it in the gauze but there wasn't enough to cover the whole fireplace so we picked up an orange and a purple and I'm hoping that this color orange is similar enough to this shade of orange so it's not too obvious um, and then the purple to make it just I don't know orange purple um, but yeah I'm very excited I'm going to show you guys the rest of me finishing up this mantle me putting out the rest of the Halloween decorations today and then I'm also hoping to film the what it looks like at nighttime portion so hopefully day three is the last day so I realized that I forgot to haul some more things um, I went to Michaels and then I also went to the Target dollar spot section so from Target dollar spot I picked up this little mini broom which I'm going to um, hang up by the witch 
I picked up one of these um, candles that they had that were in a cauldron and I think I got the pumpkin one um, and this was three dollars they had in the target dollar spot these fake black candles and I kind of regret buying the at home one because these were three dollars each and that one um, was definitely more than three dollars and is melty I picked up a little vial that says spider fangs and this was one dollar I already have one of these yellow pumpkins on the mantle, but I picked up another one. Um, so they have these every year. I picked up my yellow one last year and it does have a different stem this year. So that is the only difference, but the color, the shape and the size is all the same except for the stem. That was everything I got at Target Dollar Spot. So at Michael's, I picked up um, from their pastel goth uh, section, um, this fake book. Um, that says magic and then it has like a skull with flowers on it and then I picked up this stack of books which is love potions enchantments and passion spells and it has like the, the um, rib cage with some flowers that I can um, also put up there so now I'm going to decorate